Hey guys, excuse the chaos, that is my studio. It's been a little busy the last few weeks. Sorry that I'm a little behind on getting a video out. My kids are home from school now and I just moved my shop. So it's about a little busy in this house. This last project I've worked on is really cool. It's another 3D painting or miniature style painting. It's mixed media. I did a little bit everything in it from laser cutting, clay sculpture, making a little bit of a miniature, a little bit of everything. I really love how it turned out. I took the inspiration from one of my favorite lighthouses. And if you know what it is, try to give a guess in the comments. Let's get started with the video. I start by deconstructing one of my favorite lighthouses, making each shape of the house its own layer, as well as the rocks along the ocean and the cliffs. I want my lighthouse painting to have a 3D effect. Here's all the pieces cut out. I used my laser cutter and I'm using 1 8 birch to cut each piece. So I'm going to use some coffee stir sticks cut into different shapes to give my lighthouse some dimension and here I am just getting some shapes cut out and trimming those little shapes using some little wire cutters. I'm going to use some paint markers just because wood is really hard to cover with white and paint markers seem to do the job a little bit better than layers of white paint. The trouble with wire snippers is that the wood tends to fly sometimes as you're snipping it. So my friend over here, Kirby, caught the wood for me. I'm using wood glue to glue on the stir sticks. Mixing a little brown and green together just to give it a little bit of a darker green color. And then I'm painting all the trim green. Gluing my uh, layers of the house together with some wood glue. I'm making some shingles for the roof. Using masking tape is a great way to get your shape. Getting my measurements, deciding where I want to cut the stir sticks. I trimmed off the extra pieces of wood and I'm gluing another layer on the house. Get yourself one of these miter box kits. These are awesome and are great for these small and angled cuts. I'm adding some trim to the front of the roof of the lighthouse. I decided here that I want a little more angle to the roof. So I'm trying to whittle down some of the roof pieces using different wood tools. And then finally I get my smarts and get out my Dremel. Now I'm adding shingles to the other parts of the roof. Time to add some texture to the part of the lighthouse where the light is. This part is a stone building. So I'm adding some texture with my DOS air drying clay, a little tin foil to give it that stone texture or rock texture. And then I'm also 
smoothing it out with my finger in certain areas just to give it a little bit of contrast. Here I am adding some window frames using the same stir sticks just cut down. As you can see, I painted the roof red. I somehow lost that footage, but there you go. The roof is red, and now I'm working on some of the green trim. Time to paint the sky and the ocean. Just Box. doing a simple sky with a little bit of wispy clouds. The holes that you see cut out is where I plan to add some lighting. Using the edge of my board here just to get a, make sure I have a straight edge. And then lining up everything to make sure I painted all the parts I needed to paint. Now it is time to glue all my wood pieces together. Now I'm going to add some more air drying clay so I can get some awesome texture of rocks and give that feeling of the 3D landscape. I decided I wanted to add a little more dimension to my rock area, so I grabbed my mask. There you go, there you see me. And I'm starting to sand it down with my Dremel tool. Hey, so maybe not the best idea using a Dremel inside, but nothing a little vacuum can't clean up. And then we'll save some of that sawdust. Yes, ladies, you know what that is. We'll save some of that sawdust for future terrain. All right, we're back to adding our air drying clay. I always keep a little bit of water handy. It's great for smoothing out the clay or keeping the clay from drying out as you're working with it. I'm going to add some undertones to my rocks, just using reds, browns, yellows, and oranges. And now I'm adding some darker tones to the rocks, which is basically a mixture of grays and browns. Here I'm adding even more darker tones 
which is this is a uh, black and some dark dark brown Get out your handy dandy hair dryer. And then onto some fun stuff. Time to dry brush. I'm dry brushing with a very, very, very lightly coated brush of white paint. I'm touching up the blue ocean here. Just giving it another coat of paint where I got some clay and spots I didn't want it to be. I layered down some tacky glue and then I'm using a mixture of fine turf, clump foliage, some faux grass, and some moss. I'm adding some fine turf to the area around the lighthouse. I wanted to add a little bit of color to the foliage, so I'm just using oranges and reds and yellows. I'm just painting with acrylic right over the moss. I'm adding some Mod Podge to the ocean in the where the waves crash because when it dries it will dry clear but it will leave some texture and then I want to add some dry brushing to that area and maybe some stippling. I'm using a straw to blow the Mod Podge around. This kind of gives it a ripple effect. I learned this trick from YouTuber North of the Border. He's awesome. Go check him out. So I decided I needed a little more texture as well as color so I'm cutting up teeny bits of red yarn and yellow and red maybe orange pom-poms just kind of like the same as flocking but it just gives it a little bit more color i'm using a water bottle full of watered down mod podge to help it all stick together i'm dry brushing and stippling some white onto the waves i already did a layer of dry brushing off camera And lastly, I'm adding some pouring medium over all the water areas. It gives it a high gloss, almost like resin.
here it is guys i'm so happy with how it turned out i love it there's a little bit of everything involved from painting wood miniature building sculpture faux grass and i love the sheen of the ocean i love how it turned out if you guys have any suggestions of more of these 3d style paintings i would love to do more because i think it has a little bit of everything it's so much fun to do thanks for watching guys Thank <laughs> you.